be there with you as you launch the new soul course in the new center. Congratulations and thank you for the center is ours as well. All of us who are part of one or more of the several campaigning organizations to which the new center will provide ample space now that the old center has become too small for them. This message is written on my own behalf and on behalf of the women's group to which I and five of the women in the room belong. Great spread. This is the Diana Coordinator of one of those organizations, the Global Women's Christ. Our center also calls the Crossroads Women's Center and was signed for training in the Office of Great Spread and the Global Women's Strike. The campaigning organizations which some of you might know as London or UK based organizations are, in fact, international. As you know, 2012 also marks the 40th anniversary of the Women's for Healthcare campaign and the publication of the anthology. And I want to say a few words about this campaign. It's certainly founded and of which her writings are product and produced by. I did post in politics for most of my life, but it is the campaign which finally gave me a political home. And I need something very specific for that. Recently, at Selfish Request, I was going through speeches I've made and articles I've written over the last 10 to 12 years so we might collect them in a publication, our next publication. And I laughed out loud at the number of times I quoted the paragraph by some of the poem my political life for that. A hierarchy of labor powers and the scale of wages to correspond. Race, sex, age, nation, each an indispensable element of the international division of labor. Our feminism bases itself on a hitherto invisible structure of the hierarchy of labor powers. The housewife, to which there corresponds no wage at all. We will find the post on page 96 of the next one. I first met the campaign a few years after its launch. At the time, I taught in a program for Black, Latino, Latina, and working class white students in the City University of New York with the two women who went on to hold down Black women who waited for housework, Raymond Brown and Margaret Trespa who today is one of the two coordinators of the strike in the U.S. You must understand that teaching in the program means you were not an academic and would not be able to get a proper university job. The truth that we were really politically activists is that Margaret and I are still there. And then she said she led the campaign after working when the Working Teachers Alliance, the left wing organization of which I was a founding member, an international specialty, set me to London to run the British Parliament. And I found myself inside a church supporting an occupation organized by another one of the atomic organizations, the Center House, the English Collective of Prosecutors. The forefront led by political organizing in the Caribbean was first in the left, and then in the feminist movement. In both, and this is equally true elsewhere, grassroots women were never a point of reference. In practice, when not in theory, the WTA had a typical theory, right? We devalued the work with housewives, mothers, and other carers spend most of their lives and we therefore devalue them. I don't discourage the women and men I work with. Not all of them were just out for themselves, nor do I discourage the work we did. 
to do. Number one, you don't want the brain after you to be great. I'll break, break, or break, but it's very hard to keep between your children to be a slave and we don't like that word. We want to raise our children to be free, and that means that we are held to be free. And that's our starting point for the attack on the caring work that we have been told to do. That's the beginning. The second thing is, in order to be free, we must undermine the hierarchy of sex, race, and thought which we have been distracted. And I want to give uh, you know, some examples of the way we have organized against those divisions. You know, there was a fantastic um, of, of the book. I, I must say, I read it last night at the time of the episode. I think we've known this thing for a very long time, and we're not going to use this one. And he quotes the essay, if the divisions among us keep capital in power which in which they do, there will be no capitalism if there were divisions among us. Therefore, then overcoming the divisions among us is by definition the destruction of capital and the transformation of us individually but on a mass scale. I want to say one thing before we go on. Individually, we each change at our own pace, in our own way, in our own selves. But we don't change alone. We can't. We are dependent, deeply dependent on each other. We do not believe in the discussion that there is no such thing as society. There are two things in society that we want to protect it, defend it, and then watch on it. And in that context, that's what we say. On the mass scale together, as part of the movement that transforms society. That's our starting point. And to overcome those decisions, I want to give two examples. One example, I'm going to give only one example because I know someone here is going to be speaking about another. Recently, the Georgia prisoners got up one morning and carried these from people who said it was the most organized from the unity of the world. Up and said, we're not leaving ourselves to go for free. We didn't understand that. They said, no, we're not leaving ourselves. And you know, in Georgia, most people are black. But the addition to women and the subsistence are white. And the question is, how do they all get together unanimously to say no? That was a miracle of this life. And then they made this document, which we last five were talking about and defending and putting out that uh, disseminated. And they were about better than better than the their book was don't want to be no more people. And so we found that the various things we can do what they do not mention is great. That was a big step forward because they were so confident that their case as the majority of black people would be made by those outside and in fact by themselves by the very act that they were able to figure it out in order to get on board every race with every race. Now, you know, that's a sophistication about sex, race, and class, which is not a Catholic 
And so we are practically coming to the conclusion that if we don't act on our own behalf in our grassroots communities, workplaces, and organizations, we will never get rid of the people who dominate, persecute, and destroy them. And we know, too, that we must get together a whole sector in order to help the kind of industry to win. We've gone for 40 years, we don't want to work on We are hoping another five or six will be enough. And with the occupied movement, we feel there's a chance. Now, I want to just say one word on that. We're not talking about whether the occupied movement has quite I think it's so great to inspire the kind of people to so many times that they can afford that. But what the Occupy Movement has done is announce our intention to overthrow the Occupy Nine, all power, 